Right now we are in the middle of both flu season and the continued fight against COVID-19. We sat down with family medicine physician Dr. Christopher Kiebrick to get some tips on how we can all stay healthy through this holiday season. The viral infections and, and uh, sinus infections have pretty similar symptoms and it's difficult to tell the difference between the two. In fact, it's difficult for doctors sometimes to tell. Uh, generally, uh, you know, what I do and I, I think many doctors do is, is use time as, as sort of the uh, the differentiating factor between a, a regular viral infection and a sinus infection. And so if you start with symptoms that are consistent with a sinus infection or a viral infection, and they're just not getting better, um, then then we consider um, you know treating those symptoms with antibiotics. But we typically like to wait until somebody's had symptoms for at least 12 to 14 days before we make that decision. Uh, unless somebody's having such severe facial pain or, or a high fever associated with it, uh, then we might consider antibiotics earlier in those situations. My first piece of advice would be to get vaccinated against both influenza and if you can, against COVID. Um, those viruses are both deadly. Before COVID hit, there were around 100,000 Americans who died in each of the last two flu seasons. And so the flu is very deadly, but fortunately it's very preventable uh, with the vaccination. And the serious complications of COVID are also very preventable with vaccination. And so again, I would urge you to get vaccinated for both influenza and COVID if you can and you have not yet. But we live in a social environment and we can't completely change the way that we live. So we're, we're going to, to get sick and it's normal to get sick. What you can do to, to, to reduce your risk of, of getting sick with viral infections are the tried and true methods of keeping your hands clean, you know, washing your hands, especially after you've had contact with money or a, another person at a store. If you are around somebody who appears to be sick, if they're coughing or sneezing, then, then leave. Uh, try not to be around them. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're okay with wearing masks, it certainly is acceptable at this point, and, and that can help reduce your risk of acquiring a viral infection from other people.